hi welcome back to a another vlog i thought i'd just pick up the camera today i bought some bits from primark um i've got some um mns i need to sort out some summer stuff as i'm going away so yeah i'm just having another pottery pottery potter around day um luke's turned all the electricity <laughs> off hold on let me pop you up here hold on so luke's turned all the this is better you're on a higher level luke's turned all the electricity off so because he's doing some electric work in the house so um i just went to pick up my big camera that i've um vlog with my big one at home and it's got no battery so i'm using my little compact at the moment um which is obviously easier to move around but as i was just saying i've got some bits to show you from primark um some bits from mns um also ordered a new linen bedding set that i'd like to show you and a few other bits so um yeah i thought i'd just pick up my camera today i'm pottering around i'm also doing diy hence the hence the diy bun <laughs> and um and yeah so um i can't film too much of the diy because i have the too much of the DOI in the bedroom room because I have got that coming out in a completely separate vlog. Um, however, I can show you the bits that I picked up. Also, it's bed changing day, so the whole bedroom is a tip. When I say a tip, I mean a mess. Need to change the bedding. I'm sorting out some of my wardrobe. I'm packing some of my bag. This is the bits to show you. So yeah, it's a little bit crazy in here. Um, but yeah, let me um, let me just show you what I got from. Um, Primark, so that's probably easier. Let me see if I can sit you up on the floor because it'll be a bit comfier. Okay, so I'm literally gonna sit here on the floor um, and just show you what I got because it's so much easier doing things on the floor. Um, right, let's start with a bit of Primark, shall we? Okay, so the reason why I went to Primark is because I wanted to see if I could find any new swimming costumes or bikinis or anything new as I am having a little bit of autumn sun. Um, in a week or so but i did go into the home section first and i picked up this gorgeous seagrass basket this was 12 pound and the reason why i liked it because it had a little um it's got a little lid that opens so it's really cute i thought it'd be really good in my guest room even even to put toiletries in um to put toilet row in um i'm not too sure yet but i really like seagrass i think seagrass is a really good um basket material because it just looks a little bit more timeless um if you're going for a nautical theme it's great as well because obviously seagrass that doesn't make any sense <laughs> what am i gonna talk about uh so yeah i bought this it's a really cute size adorable 12 pound they had so many baskets in primark i wish i vlogged i wish i took you to primark i might do that next weekend actually because primark and zara had an h&m had some amazing items both home and fashion um so yeah so i picked this up so this is the only home purchase i did get my other few purchases were oh no i did get another home purchase i'm sorry i can't right that be is our phone hold on let me turn it off because it's really nice. right so one of the first few things i've got is this really nice lounge jumper slightly drop shoulder oh i'm not in focus drop shoulder this is really soft i think it is it's a love to lounge this was i got a medium and it was 11 pound and the softness of this is really hard to show you i don't you can't really show softness but it is really soft i don't know what it's going to be like to wash i mean it was 11 pounds but i thought it'd be really nice to travel in uh, to lounge around house in i think it, it did come with the trousers but i didn't really need the trousers so i just bought the top and um yeah very very snugly got a medium so it's slightly oversized because i do like things to be oversized when they're snugly but i bought this which i'm very happy with along with the pajama jumper top i did buy a beautiful cami and pajama trouser set so i don't know let me see if i can stand back far enough which i thought were gorgeous i love the color at the bottom of the trousers there is also oops also the lace detailing at the top they are elastic at the back and not at the front and they've got pockets as well <laughs> it's a bonus so these are beautiful along with the top as well i bought the top i've got a um small in the top 10 10 to 12 again really cute 
lace detailing it's hard to tell on the screen but it's a really nice dark olivey color i'll try and make it um the coloration look right but yeah really soft this the, the bottoms were 12 pound and the top was seven pounds so this is a really nice silky satin i'm sure it's not real satin i mean it's primark i'm pretty sure it's made what's it made from 90% nylon okay it's nylon but it feels like satin yeah really cute set so I bought this as well so I'm really happy with those next up I just wanted some really comfy bra and knicker sets like really snug and I eyed up these I saw these which I was really happy with you've got the cute cotton soft lounge let me see if, if you can get the texture of it it's slightly ribbed if you can see little cute um bralette top and it says in there in the middle love to lounge this was eight pounds but it was a set so it also came with the little panties which are like this very comfortable if you're on your period or anything <laughs> really comfy maybe not get white if you're on your period they also did like nude greens blacks did loads of other colors but pants as well so i thought that was a really cute like bralette and pants set um a little bit ribbed so that was cute as well so really happy with that um and then i also bought this matching set again olivey green this was eight pounds i bought this set really cute bralette in lace comes with the little um lacy thong as well um i love a little bralette at the moment um I think they just fit really nice and really like comfortable as well um, and they obviously look really pretty um, too so I got this one as well in the sale well it was eight pounds I don't know whether that's sale price but really cute with that little purchase as well um, then as I went to the till in Primark I did go for a spontaneous buy as we always did and I got some socks so the two pairs of socks that I got I got these little dinosaurs on a little <laughs> navy blue with oh with little dinosaurs on because i am a pure child at heart so i got little dino socks so two pairs so that was two pairs for two pound fifty i mean you can't really go wrong really cute to wear pajamas or around the house and stuff like that um i did get another home purchase that i forgot to show you and that was this bottle so this bottle was three pound originally six i have no idea what i'm gonna use this for but it's like a porcelain don't know whether they can focus oh come on and it's got the um cork bottle top as well i'm sure you can use it for something i don't even know what it's for to be honest but i just thought it was really cute so i might even have that in a guest room or i might even put it in the bathroom but it's definitely display purposes only dpo so they were my Primark purchases, um, which I was very happy with. Um, I did also then go into M&S because I had to get a gift um, and also grab some lunch. And when went into M&S, I saw yet another um, comfortable set in the sale. So this is the um, B by Boutique Long Lined Crop Non-Wired. Um, it was originally £10. I got it for four pound so it's this maroon color it's cross back as you can see slightly ribbed maroon very comfortable lounge top and i also got the knickers were as well with four pound as well the knicker thongs to wear as a little cute set either in bed or under some comfortable clothes because i do find when you're wearing comfies if you're going out in comfies or having like a lazy sunday to wear underwear it's nice to wear really comfortable beautiful underwear and um the quality of this just feels really snug it's got a really good um waistband as well around the knickers so i'm looking forward to trying them so i've had a little bit of a comfy underwear um session i also picked up um some bedding not picked up i ordered um some bedding when i ordered the lights um from le redoute for my guest room which i will show here these are my guest room lights they're on sale and um, i will try and link them down below for you they are beautiful with the ribbed um glass but i also ordered myself a bedding set 
but I need to go and get it, so bear with me. So I haven't actually opened this yet because I've been waiting to show you. I've had it for about a week and um, yeah, I hadn't shown you, so, so I wanted to I wanted to open it on on my vlog. So um, yeah, appreciate that. <laughs> I picked up La Redoute Interiors. Is it meant to be French? I don't really know. This is their original linen bedding set that they do. So I just went for the pure white. This is Super King. The one reason why I did buy this, I've been eyeing it up for a while, is that there was a ridiculous discount. Can't remember what it was. I think it was like 40% discount. So I got the duvet and I also got the pair of cushions. Which actually I'll open now. So I just went for the two standard cushions. We have Super King cushions at the back of our bed and then we have um, normal size cushions at the front of our bed. So um, I just bought them for the front ones because I thought the back ones, I might even choose a different colour. Um, oh, these are soft. See, I've never had linen bedding before, but we stayed away on our mini moon after we got married um, in a tree house. If you've been on my Instagram, you would have seen. And they had beautiful linen bedding. And I took a picture of the tag of where it's from and it was from here. So I could buy it when I got home. <laughs> Does anyone else do that or is it just me? If you like something, you take a picture of it or you see where it's from and then you can go home and buy it. <laughs> so these are the pillowcases. I will link everything down below for you. Um, but I am going to put these on the bed. We have got our winter duvet out as well. Um, I need to have a change of bed. I need to sort the sheets out. And now I'm not in focus. Hello? <laughs> oh. Oh no. There we go. <laughs> I don't know what happened then. Oh, that's still making that noise. Okay. So I'm going to put all this away, I'm going to take all the tags off, I'm going to sort everything out, put it all away in the drawers, um, then make bed, and um, then yeah, I might make myself a coffee. <laughs> okay, so it is about an hour later um i've um cleaned all my sides in the bedroom i've dusted i've hoovered and um started packing some of my bags to go away i haven't changed the bed yet because i need to go and do filling in the guest room so if i take you with me so i need to fill obviously you're gonna see oh it's bright you will see this on the vlog when it comes out um but i need to do all the filling here and down here and over by the lights as well so yeah that's exciting so i'm going to quickly do that now um, and then get back to housework so um i can't wait for this room to be done i'm so excited color choices anyway you'll see it all, all, all in a vlog so i'll make sure that i do um hopefully get that done pretty soon so it can all be up but um yeah dungarees are on got these years ago these are from sheen i think they're from sheen is it from sheen i don't know but whenever i put my dungarees on i'm like right it's diy business i mean business <laughs> that's how it works anyway um everywhere's just a mess look there's just stuff everywhere oh it's really dark so yeah plan of action i need to do some diy now um then have a bit of lunch and then carry on ma making the bed and doing some more tidying i am also going to get out some of my autumn decor to show you um i was going to do it in my previous vlog but um time completely flew away so i will do this in a minute with you but i just need to do some diy okay so I've done all my DIY bits, so that's done, all my filling's done and everything and stuff for the vlog. But I've come to find my um, my autumn box of autumn bits and it's under the... Oh, someone's baby's crying. Um, it's under the bed in here. So I'm going to try and get it out so I can show you. Um, but it might take a while. <laughs> but we're going to give it a go anyway. Um, okay, I don't even know where to start. How the hell am I going to get all this out? Okay, no. Right, maybe I won't have to move forward a bit. This is all like charity clothes that I need to take to the charity, which I haven't done. Um, I might put them in my car actually and drop off at the charity shop. Ooh. Okay, so. Aha! Autumn bits! Woohoo! Oh, I've got two boxes! 
What's in here? Okay, let's see what's in this one. Ooh! Okay, let's let let me set you up somewhere that is less awkward, and um, let's just see what's in these autumn boxes. Oh, yay! Okay, right. Let's make sure I'm in a focus. Okay, all good. Right, we're gonna open up these autumnal boxes um, and just see what we can put where around the house um, and use because it is the second of October and it's time to get the place autumnified. Oh, oh, it smells of dried flowers here. Okay, I have a faux hydrangea, but I've only got one. And I don't really like putting it with the others, so I don't really know what to do with that. Okay, what else have I got in here? Okay, I have some dried hydrangea heads. I've got three dried hydrangea heads. Um, I actually use these in my um, Christmas garland <laughs> that I put over my clock. I will try and find a picture. I must have a picture somewhere. Try and hire, find, find a picture, but I put these in with the garland and made them Christmassy. So I will bring them out and put them somewhere during autumn. But then I also, I also, I auto, I also use them during winter as well because I like to kind of utilise these dried hydrangeas. I must have dried them about two years ago, and they've actually turned out pretty good. So um, I keep reusing them every year, but you've got to be careful when you box them because um, they're obviously really delicate because they're dry. Just, they can get crushed so easily. Um, so I will find a home for them. I've also got some beautiful, beautiful red faux foliage. It's a variety. Again, I will try and find where this was. If I remember, it is in an old vlog, so I will try and link that vlog actually up here. Um, but I will try and find where these are from. But we have these beautiful faux red stems mixed with these ones as well, which kind of are more like a little red flower. So between them, I bunched them all together to make a beautiful red arrangement. So I need to find a vase to find them a home. I've also got some other bits in here like this dried, I don't know what it is. Kind of reminds me a bit of a broom. I probably won't ever use this in my life, but oh, there's also um a little bunny tail in here. But um oh, and another random green faux thing. But I think I'm going to stick with these and I'm not going to use this one either. So I'm going to use these and also the real dried hydrangeas and I'll find them a home. So I'll keep that out. In box number two, I think this is more of the fun box if you ask me. Box number two. <gasps> Yay! Oh, there's a little bit of. Oh, look! Oh, it's my spice pumpkin candle. Okay, I never lit this because I actually don't really like <laughs> pumpkin scent. Um, but I love the candle because it is a beautiful, like, dark, deep orange that um, ombres up into white. Again, cheeky little home scent bargain. Uh, 8.99. Uh, never actually burnt it in my life. Um, I probably should actually, because it's not too bad. I have smelt worse um, pumpkins, but yeah, this one can definitely find a home downstairs. Um, cushion, beautiful autumnal cushion. I would definitely get out. I can't remember where I got this from either. See, I love it when you find when you put away decorations and then you get them all out because you you bring stuff out that. You, that you forget about. I think this was House and Habitat. I'm pretty sure. But as you can see, beautiful orange and it's got like a, a beigey linen um, rustic back. So yeah, I'll get put that out, which is brilliant. Oh, this is so much fun. I need to do this more often. Um, I haven't got like any, who's messaging me? Oh, hello, I'll go back to you. Um, I haven't got any spring decor really no i lie i've got all my faux foliage which is like spring so maybe i can put that all in here and have a swap seas and then in spring we can have like a rotation and get spring stuff out maybe um i have a artichoke which i actually probably won't bring out this year because i actually don't know where to put this so i think that might stay in here um oh tea towels <laughs> <laughs> so funny I've got autumnal tea towels so these I think were a home scent so I have a striped one and then the olive green pattern tea towels so they will be put out in the kitchen 
as well. Oh, and I also have my autumn um, oven mitts which are, I don't think I've ever been used. Again, I think these were DPO. I think I actually put these on display just so they look nice. Isn't that so weird? Is that so weird we buy stuff just to look nice? But I might start using these actually because the ones that I have are really rubbish. So, but they're kind of cute. They've got like little foxes on. Um, I think these again were home sense as well, potentially. I'll look back at an old vlog and you'll be able to tell from last year. Um, okay, so let's get this out as well find them a home um, I won't bother with that so that can go back do you know what I'll put this in one box because anything that's um, springtime or anything that I want to put away I always have like home accessories because I like to change stuff around I do feel like it's good to put stuff away in a box like this because then you can get it out for every season I love changing up my home for the seasons um, I think it's really important Oh, I've got a candle up there. It says summer rain. I probably put that away because it's not exactly summer. Okay, let me go and grab that quickly. Oh. Summer rain candle. Beautiful little candle. Quite like um, reminds me of kind of Harry Potter and magic. But this should be put away because it's summer. So I'm going to put that in there. And we need to go and pick things up. We need to go and see. Like, I've got this, which has got sand in with shells but again it's quite like summery so I'm going to put that in there as well because I probably don't need that out okay I'm now going to go look around and see what I can put in here um, around the home and then uh, start putting all my autumn stuff out oh I've also got pumpkins somewhere okay I wasn't expecting to do this today but now I've done my DIY bits yeah I'm going to go get all my um, I've got two like pumpkin a pumpkin candle and a little pumpkin ornament I think both from home sense as well obviously and um, let's get those out too and make everything look autumnal <laughs> I'm a little bit late to the game there's people and vloggers who do have already done this and planned their content but I'm totally winging this YouTube vlog life so um, yeah if you if, if you're still here and you're still watching then well done um, but let's try and get all this decor out so we can make things look a little bit more kind of um, cozy <music> So the plan is to take all of this downstairs so <clears throat> so we can find homes for it all and make it all a little bit cozy oh, i've just got to kind of carry my camera and all this stuff <laughs> oh god let me turn it off pumpkins I got this one ages ago I'm gonna take this little thing off actually mm, I can't take it off okay and it's like like I said like a mother of pearl and I don't like it <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I like the matte it's like a matte gold I'm gonna spray paint this um, in like a stony I think I've got some spray paint where would that be hold on could be in here. Okay, I've got some. I think this is it. How do I know what colour it is? How do you know primer white? Oh, is it just primer? Oh, it's just primer. <laughs> Damn. Okay, I think I have got some stone. If not, I'm just going to spray this. Okay, let's do this in a minute outside to make this white. But I also have uh, this pumpkin that I got recently. Um, 
And it's actually, it's green, because I'm loving green right now. I don't like the shiny top, so I might try and make that matte somehow. But it is actually a candle as well, which is, I assume it's pumpkin smell. Sorry if that's really, obviously, um, not obvious, but it doesn't actually say. So I don't know what um, scent it is, but I'm going to put this out somewhere nice, because why not? Lovely jubbly, gone. See, I've already got another green pump pumpkin that I would have shown you if you watch my vlogs, which is this one. Hold on. Primark. This is the green Primark candle I got. It was four, it was four pounds, and it's really cute. So I put this one by the front. Uh, you'd have seen in my last vlog up up here. Um, I put this by the front door. But I've also got this one, which is dark green. I'm thinking the dark green one should stay in here. Because and the, this light green one should stay in there because it does actually match the candle that I got from Home Sense as well. So that's what I'm gonna do, I think. <laughs> so, just isn't this just like the best Sunday? I'm like just doing autumn stuff. Something about pumpkins and autumn and getting all cozy, there's like it's just the best. You will see Luke. <laughs> He's cutting the grass. <laughs> and right, so this pumpkin sticker which never comes up in one piece because home sense tend to do this <laughs> let's put him there what do you think look good Auto autumny autumnal whatever the word is but i've also got this little wood chopping board that i absolutely love as well it's called a capachi capachi board i think that's right um so maybe i can have that there mm, it doesn't really feel the winds like that that is looking good. So we've got candle, little wooden board. We've got this cocktail book because it's like black and white. It's kind of um, a bit magical. Kept shopping board because kitchen. And then I've got this is from Home Sense um, with my red faux and my pumpkin. And then if I move you out, we've also got down here my autumn cushion. I need to move these trays. I've also obviously got my little cute stool here. So I might actually put something on there. Okay, I'm gonna also do the windowsill. So if I just like shimmy you along this way, <laughs> we're gonna do up here, cause it was a complete mess. Obviously the sink's a mess. Let's just move you closer so we can see what is going on, but we need to make this a bit more. <laughs> this quickly find this a home on that shelf and then yeah everything's looking a lot more cosier the sink's still a mess because the dishwasher's on I can't do that until the dishwasher's done I'm not washing up who washes up sorry this lighting's really bad for Instagram of Luke doing the grass and me and my little pumpkin so I'll post that it's not dry but I just want to put it in place because <laughs> I'm impatient so I'm just gonna take this off I don't know how long that rust that um, stuff takes to dry but it's just gonna sit on my windowsill so I might as well just put it in place really so let's take this. Oh, so here is pumpkin that's no longer mother of pearl and it is officially matte white. 
Okay, I've still got a few of these left. So, oh, Luke doing the lawn. He's such a good, such a cute, isn't he? Right, um, let me think what else can I do? Ah, I could put them in there. They look a bit green. Hmm, let me ask your opinion. What do you think of this? So this is a bit of a dead corner. I don't really know what to do with it. So I normally just have a wax melt and have these on, but these are quite spring-like. So maybe we can do a little bit of a, let's take these out. This is this is like very Im impromptu, is that the word? Totally impromptu, didn't plan to restyle this bit, but we're just going with it and we're just gonna see what happens. <laughs> okay, right, should we clean it? Let's, let me just give it a clean while I'm here. Um, something I completely forgot to show you was a little Zara purchase that I made. Um, I had to buy a few other, other bits, but I saw this adorable little plate that I thought. It was in the sale. I'll find out. I'll link it, actually, what it was. Um, but this beautiful little textured plate, which I thought was gorgeous with the little... The little rims on it as well so this i bought this recently so maybe this could just go on here like that. i think that that works quite well okay i think i've managed to get everything out that i wanted to get out all the candles, the little pumpkins that I've got, um, everything, all, all the little touches, I think I've done it. Plus, obviously, my, <laughs> my new little pump, pumpkin as well, which I'm very chuffed about. Um, and, yes, yeah, so I'm going to finish up having a tidy now and, um, yeah, see if I can find anything else that would be handy to put out um, in an autumn style. But thanks so much for watching. I'm going to leave the vlog there. Um, I'm sure I'll be back hopefully as soon as possible and definitely do um, a come shop with me next time because, yeah, I should have done it when I went the other day, but I didn't. So, yeah, watch out for that one and I will catch up with you in my next vlog. Thanks for watching.